What are we gonna make? Let's see. We're gonna use what we have left over. All I pulled was um, from the freezer, I had a tenderloin, pork tenderloin, and I marinated it last night in a Ziploc baggie. In here, a little Italian dressing, adobo, salt and pepper. But what am I gonna serve with it? I had these three sweet potatoes left over. We're gonna get those in the oven roasting because we're gonna make sweet potato mash. And then I have this much spinach left over from last week. And I had these mushrooms that are actually two weeks old. They've been in the fridge. Like a mushroom spinach ragu with a little bit like a gravy to it. And that will be on top of our tenderloin. I'm gonna go get the big pan to pan sear it. We'll finish it in the oven. And we'll start uh, getting these potatoes in the oven as well. I always say Ziploc baggies for all your meats and chicken because the cleanup. Who wants to sit here and scrub a bowl with Mary? So I did this last night. Big pan is on and I already have my sheet pan ready because I just want to get a sear on this to lock the flavor in and then I'm going to finish it in the oven. The oven's at 375. So right over the pan, a little olive oil in it, skin side down. Oh yeah, hear that sizzle? So we're going to do around four minutes on each side. And then I'm going to put a little non-stick spray on here. Because I did use Italian dressing, there is a high sugar content in here, and it kind of starts to caramelize. I don't want it to burn and stick to the pan when the pork's on there. Um, and then we'll pop it in. We'll probably stay in the oven for around 30 minutes. So it's super tender. But watch the cleanup. Bye-bye. Here we go. Ooh, yeah. Oh my, yeah, I know it's like spraying up a little bit. But look at that sear. Another four minutes on this side. And then what I did was I already have the prep ready for um, my mushroom and spinach ragu, a little bit of garlic, and use a little bit of white wine. I have some stock. And we're gonna make it right in this pan because all the flavor from the searing the meat is in the pan. So we're not gonna wash it out. We're gonna glaze this pan and make our sauce in here. Pork is off and it's on the sheet pan now. All from searing, all that caramelization and skin and marinade. I'm gonna add the garlic in. We're going to glaze the pan. So on the bottom of the pan, the way you want to do this is good old fashioned wine. You can use white wine if you want to make it marsali. You can use Madeira wine. I'm going to put the heat up and you're going to, oh, there it goes. Okay, so that big flame was because of the alcohol and we use real wine. Like if you use cooking wine, normally there's so much salt in it, it won't light up. But the alcohol is cooked off. Um, I added a little bit of our chicken stock in, and now we're gonna bring it to a simmer. And add our mushrooms and spinach in, because that's all ready to go. And once this starts to uh, saute down, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper, and we're good to go. I'll keep this on the side, because at the end, I'm gonna add the drippings from the pan where the pork was, for the extra boom the flavor. There is our beautiful pork loin. I'm actually gonna pull it out. We're gonna come up here, and I left the mushroom ragu going, and we're gonna add the drippings, all that flavor into there. I gotta pause so I can do it with one hand. But all the drippings going right in. Slicing it thin. Can you see, hold on, let me move it back a little bit. Slicing it thin. Now, people are sometimes weary about undercooked pork. Personally, I like it medium, but um, if it's a little too pink for you, put it back in. But this is this is the thickest part, and if you look, it's perfect. Perfect. The other white meat. 